Anyway, let's get back to the bathroom. There's Kurt. Yep. Oh, that's what I mean by industrial. I'm not even industrial, just derelict. Anyway. Um. Why is it so dark in here now? Wasn't this dark earlier? Was it? I don't know. Where were we? So, we were on this shelf. Jeez, what's wrong with my camera? It's like really foggy and dark. This stuff, okay, well we were talking about this. I hate it, never buy it, it's crap. It doesn't do anything for your hair. And it smells of Lemon Pledge. And it's disgusting and this tiny bottle for I don't know how much. Luckily I got it like a good, a good deal on eBay, but so. Aromatonic. Very old scent. This has not been new for a couple of years, but I would buy it a hundred times over. It's amazing. It's very good. It's got this like zing to it. Yeah, well maybe I should explain a little bit more. It's actually no, everybody knows aromatonic. <laughs> it's really yummy. I don't know what it smells like. It's kind of like a margarita or something. These um, body shop invent your scent kind of things. I don't use them anymore. But all of the ones at the bottom there are actually Amarito because amazing chocolatey smell which I used to get loads of compliments on and uh, I think it's been discontinued which you know seeing as I bought about five bottles of it and used no wait one two three four five, six bottles used no seven seven bottles of it um I would have bought it again so should have just continued that. Now I can get it over eBay, but it's a bit expensive. Oh, and another thing I forgot to mention. My boyfriend just told me that this beautiful toilet seat actually isn't from the people before us, but that they brought it, my boyfriend's family, when they moved in. So it's uh, an heirloom of sorts. He said it's been in the family for a long time. Yep. Behold. Anyway, another thing from Lush, which I didn't mention in my Lush video, Miranda soap, which I love. I think Miranda, is, like nobody ever talks about Miranda. They talk about like Rockstar, Honey, I Wash the Kids. And yeah, of course they're great. They're like the... Anyway, Miranda is totally underrated. It's like the best soap. Oh, it smells of kiwi and so fresh and... I don't know the last time I washed my hands, obviously it was today, but they still smell of it and it's great. God, my hair looks shit. Anyway, this uh, soap from the body shop, miserable little broken dirty thing. Don't buy it. It's meant to smell of brazil nut. It smells disgusting. The body shop has disappointed me so often. I don't even go there anymore. This stuff from La Roche Posay. Never. Uh, Effacla purifying foaming gel. Don't know why I bought it, because it was pretty expensive and it doesn't even work that well, but I guess I know that now and I'm not gonna buy it again. Anyway, on to the makeup, which this in here, which isn't even all makeup, some of it is like creams and stuff. It's all the makeup I own. Foundation from MAC. Which I like, you know, but this is the lightest color they have, and it's still not light enough for my skin tone, because I'm actually ghostly pale, which you can't see in this video, but you can in some of the others. And so I got this thing, which is amazing. It's like my most prized makeup thing. This is Manic Panic Virgin Pressed White Powder. Kind of, you know, meant for the gothic scene. It comes in this fun little bag. Really pretty. It's got like rhinestones on it. Oh, it's so pretty. It's so special. It's one of those makeup things that are so special you don't even want to use it. Anyway, the color, wait. I shall show you. Plain white. And I guess most people, and oh look, it's got like a special extra thing, and it's got like a little mirror, and it's just, it's lovely. I've dropped it a few times, unfortunately, but hey. I guess on most people it would look like a complete clown, or like a geisha or something. But uh, if you're as pale as I am, then um, actually looks it looks pretty good. So I got some of my makeup out. This is actually one foundation which I think is great by Max Factor, soft resistant makeup. It's definitely affordable and it's amazing. The best foundation I've ever had, even better than this. Mwahaha. <laughs> yeah, I dissed Mac. Everyone loves Mac. Whatever. 
This is one thing I have from Mac. As you see, been a little bit battered. <laughs> been in a few handbags. I think it's blush. I don't know. Don't use it so often. This is the blush that I do use, Dream Mousse Blush from Maybelline. I'm actually not a fan of Maybelline at all because for me it always seems like, oh, yeah, blah, blah, blah. this is Maybelline. <laughs> but <laughs> the blush is actually uh, really good. No, it's not that good. It's okay. I think every girl should have one of these. I have mine from a really cheap brand because it really doesn't matter with the blue. This color sucks, but <laughs> blue and pink, and usually this one is like green, just to cover all the little stuff. And I usually use this instead of foundation, I only use foundation if there's something wrong with my skin. Right now I'm not wearing foundation, I think I look okay. Um, yeah, basically all this stuff is really cheap, like mascara and eyeliner. This is also really cool, this is from Sephora. It's called I Will Survive. And uh, it's called uh, Spray Eclat Visage. Ah, here, Radiance Facial Spray. Which is great because lots of girls like this matte kind of look. But I like the more. God, it must sound so stupid me breathing on here like a walrus. <sighs> no, but I like the kind of like dewy, Kirsten Dunst, whatever. There's another good thing for that Clinique Color Rub. It's more like this, uh, it's very shiny. Actually, I'll open the cap and show you. I think you can see how shiny it is. Oh God, I look like I'm a disgusting pig. It's so dirty. It's pretty old, too. <laughs> Just don't use makeup very often. Now, here you see three products that are simply so incredibly amazing. Zeniac, um, it's like a kind of purifying, mattifying cream. Seriously, it's amazing. I had terrible skin as a teenager, which I still am, when I was like 16, whatever. And uh, oh my god, it cleared it up completely to what it is now. This here from Estée Lauder. <laughs> the way I pronounce that. Um, Spotlight Skin Tone Perfector, which is, is like this beautiful shimmery cream. And um, I've only ever had this size, but it's lasted me a couple of years because I don't ever use it. But I want to get the full size with expensive. And Rosaliac, also from La Roche Posay, which is for covering redness, which is just kind of like a greenish whoop, colored gel, which I've just dropped. Oh, the doorbell just rang. I think I got a box. Anyway, the two only eyeshadows I own. Pink, purple, black. I think it's all you need, really, because I think eyeshadow is totally... You know, I think if you're a young girl, you don't need eyeshadow. I think I just got a And now another product, which is one of my favorites of all time. Secret Deodorant and Vanilla Sparkle. I know it's just like a cheap drugstore kind of thing, but Jesus, it smells good. It smells better than anything I've ever smelled. Cake and I don't know. Uh, oh, this is lovely. This stuff, I think, have we been over that? No, we haven't. Well, basically, I don't, not the hugest fan of Clinique because I like scents and their stuff is unscented. The two clarifying lotions uh, in one and two. Two is for combination skin, one is for dry skin, I think it was. So, yeah, I got them as a present. I use them like as a toe.